everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am doing a makeup look inspired by Kylie Jenner using the Kylie Lip Kit in the colour Candy Cake. So if you do want to know how to get this look, carry on watching. I did actually use concealer just before I applied my foundation. The concealer that I used was the Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser. And now the foundation that I'm actually using is the Rimmel Match Perfect match perfection it's got spf 18 and it's in the color 200 soft beige now if you watch my other videos you will know that i actually never wear foundation so this foundation is very light for me but i never found what i never am a fan of wearing foundation just because i don't like the way it feels on my skin but for this i wanted flawless skin so i just took the plunge and used it I buffed it into my skin with the Real Technique, Real Technique Buffing Brush and then went over it with a Beauty Blender. I then went over the top with a Rimmel Stay, Stay Matte in the colour 006 Warm Beige. Okay, so the next thing I went in with was the Bourjois Chocolate Bronzing Palette. I just used this to do a really light contour and just basically bronze up my skin because this foundation is pretty light but to be honest I wouldn't I don't think I would recommend this bronzer I don't feel like it's the best so if you have like a bronzer and a contour then just use whatever you have but I wouldn't go out and buy this bronzer I then went in with the Barry M Make Me Blush in the colour Peach. I then moved straight onto eyebrows and I used the Maybelline Eyebrow Pencil in the colour Soft Brown. I then went over the top with my L'Oreal Brow Archery Artist Plumper. I then applied tape on the outer corner of my eyes to make kind of like a winged effect with the eyeshadows. Then taking a flat brush I packed on a ready orangey brown to the whole of my lid. Not really focusing it on the inner inner bit of my eye near my tear duct, but mainly the outside and the middle. I then went in with a slightly darker colour, which was a lot more brown, and used that higher up and in my crease. Then taking a fluffy brush, I just kind of blended that out so there was no harsh lines. Then taking a more so darker warmer brown I took this on the outside of the eyeshadow wing just to kind of define it a little bit more and took a little bit in the crease and taking the Rimmel good to glow highlighter on an angled brush and place that onto the inner corners of my eyes to brighten up the look I did also take the darkest brown that I used which was the warm brown and applied that to my lower lash line. Then after repeating that on the opposite eye, I then went in with my eyelash curlers and curled my eyelashes. So before adding mascara, I just went in with some concealer just to sharpen up the wing and clean up any excess eyeshadow, which you shouldn't get a lot of because of the tape, but if you do, this will get rid of it. And for mascara, I use Maybelline Push Up Drama, which is very good. If you have false lashes, you can apply them now. I actually do have false eyelashes, but I'm crap at putting them on and I didn't want to wreck it, so I just went with the safe option and used a mascara. So going back to the same highlighter, 
which was the Rimmel Good To Glow. I actually took this on a flat brush, I guess, I think it's actually a foundation brush, but I just took this and applied it to the very tops of my cheeks. It's a very nice kind of goldy champagne. Now for the best bit, I think. I then went in with my Kylie Cosmetics lip kit in the colour Candy K. I just lined my lips this is me just wiping off my lip balm but I just lined my lips and then applied it great tip for liquid lipsticks this is by far the best one that I've ever tried but a little tip is to make sure your lips are fully moisturized before you apply it you could try using a very thin layer of lip balm then applying the liquid lipstick on top I ne don't necessarily think it's drying but I do feel like you can see the little wrinkles on your lips but for me it's not drying at all also remember to apply a very thin layer as it does say on the lip kit box that way it won't crumble So this is the finished product, if you do like this look give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you would like to see more of me and comment if you would like and I will get back to you. Um, quick note, I am actually planning a giveaway for 100 subscribers, I know it's not 100 isn't a lot but this like, I don't know, is a bit of fun and I will be giving away a couple of my favourite beauty products, there I can't talk properly, a couple of my beauty products my favourite beauty product so if you would like to be in with a chance of winning then just subscribe and I will announce it in my next video which will be in a couple of days. Thank you very much for watching, bye!